Uh, hello, my name is Steve Mace, a company called Solwise. Uh, what I'd like to do today is to talk to you about the new WAS 105 Hotspot Gateway Controller. Uh, just a quickie, in case people don't know what a gateway controller does. What it essentially does is a, it's a supplementary router that sits between your network, be a wireless or a copper-based network or whatever, it could be a mesh network, so it sits between the network and your broadband. Your broadband obviously could be DSL or cable or whatever sort of service you've got there. And what purpose of the gateway controller is to control user access on your network uh, to the internet. So it authorizes users based upon passwords, also allows you to charge users, etc. etc. Uh, so that's a, a WAS 105 here. Um, and the WAS 105 is the latest in a long series of WAS units. We started God knows how long ago with the 001, then it went the 002, then it went the 102, one, sorry, 101. And uh, the latest model, the last model, was the 102, which has done sterling service for about two years. Had nice, good, steady sales, lots of happy customers out there. Uh, and now the WAS 105 is the latest one. Um, as is usual, what they've done is they've beefed up the capabilities of it. They've added more performance to it so it can cope with a larger number of users, etc., etc. Um, and essentially just tidied it up. Uh, the WAS 105 can be had with a ticket printer. Ticket printer allows you to, um, on the spur of the moment, on demand, generate users. So you just press the buttons on it and it prints out a ticket with a predefined um, set of operating parameters like how long they've got internet access for and how long they've got to use it for, etc. etc. Um, and has a unique password on the ticket. And uh, that is interacted with a database which is actually stored on the WAS 105. Here we have a quick sketch representation of where a WAS-105 was sitting in the network. As you can see here, the WAS-105 has two WAN ports, as it has a WAN-1 or a WAN-2, so it can connect to two ISPs, and the um, broadband on those two WAN ports can actually be uh, aggregated as a low balancing, so you can double your throughput potentially, or it can be set up so that WAN-2 acts as a failover connection, so uh, that might fall back to some slower emergency sort of backup broadband connectivity that you've got. Um, it's got wireless connectivity for users, actually on the device itself, which is 11N. Uh, the wireless side actually has multiple virtual access points, which you can set up with different parameters and different SSIDs. Uh, at the LAN port, you can, uh, you've can you got uh, connectivity and authorization that way as well, both for LAN-based users, or you could also put access points or uh, a mesh system actually through the LAN port, and our, all users connecting that way will also basically uh, be authenticated for access as well. As well as using these built-in tools for authentication, it will actually also work for external types of authentication, for example, uh, radius authentication or LDAP authentication, etc, etc. So that's the WAS 105. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go uh, start to go through the configuration of a WASH unit and hopefully you'll very quickly appreciate just how easy 